first thing we're going to want to do is get a copy of the software we're going to be using most in this class, Autodesk Maya. Now, the class is called Principles of Digital Animation, and so primarily we're going to be focusing on 3D animation. There are ways of doing two-dimensional animation as well, and we'll look into that a little bit, but Maya is a very complex software and one of the most commonly used softwares for animation. So we're mainly going to be focusing on that software package. It takes a little while to download and it takes a little while to install. So that's why you're getting these videos a week early. So you can go ahead and start that process now. You need to have this software installed before week one starts so you can hit the ground running. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. If we go to autodesk.com, Autodesk is the company that makes Maya. So we're going to be able to download a free student version of this software package. It's usually priced in the $2,000 range, so being able to use this for free is a huge benefit for a student. So we're going to go to the menu section, and if we go down to students and educators, we can click there, and we'll take us to a slightly different website. And you'll see that we have this option to download free software. Most of Autodesk's software has a free student and educational version. So if I click learn more, it will take us to the educational community and what we're looking for is Maya. So I'll go ahead and click the Maya tab and this is where we can download the software. However, to make sure that we're not just downloading dozens of versions of this, Autodesk wants us to create an account. So we can go through the process of creating an account. Now I already have one, but I'll show you briefly how that works. You'll enter in your territory if you're in the state of Tennessee, more than likely you will be choosing United States. And under educational role, just choose student. And you'll have to put in your birthday here as well. I'm just making some stuff up. That seems a little young. Let's try 1978. And hit next. And it'll take us to this section where we can set up the rest of our account. Now you'll put in your name and I would recommend using your ETSU email just because that's associated with an educational institution. Um, create a password that you'll remember because you'll need to be able to get back into this website again later. I'll go back to the download page because I already have an account. I'll hit sign in. And I'll log in with my account. And so now it lets us log in. And then this is the page where we can download Maya. For license type, we're going to say personal or individual use. And for the version type, choose the highest version. We usually try to keep that version consistent throughout the labs. And that way we're using all the newest features in Maya. Under operating system, this will work with either Windows or a Mac. I'm currently using Windows. And language, I'm going to choose English. So it's going to generate a serial number and a product key. And I'm going to be able to install this on at least two personal devices. So I can go all the way to the bottom to install now. And there's a couple of different options for install now. If I choose the top option, then it is going to install it using an install software that is built into the website. If I hit download now, it'll allow me to download the software that installs it. But if I hit browser download, it will download an entire installation package for me. So you can try the first one, but depending on your internet speed, sometimes these first two may cause you problems. So browser download is what some people have to resort to. Now, it is a very large file. I think it's in the neighborhood of about three gigabytes. If I'm, no. Yes, it's about 1.5 gigabytes. So I'm downloading on pretty fast internet connection. It says it will be done downloading in nine minutes. Um, plan accordingly. If you're installing this on your home computer, sometimes you may want to let this download overnight or download it at a time when the bandwidth is going to have more access so you can download at a faster speed. So once this is done, you should install this on 
whatever computer you're going to be using the most for this class. If you're installing this at a school, you may need to talk to some of the administration to find out how to install this software or have a teacher help you get this software package installed. But you are going to need this software package in the first week of class, so it's very important that you get this installed as soon as possible.